Hey guys, I'm back. You noticed I uh, put some marks on the edge of my plate here. You can see it may be better on the blue one since there's no design on it. You would even see it better on the white one if you choose to use the white plate. You just need to make sure your plate is pretty sturdy. Uh, I typically use the heavy cardboard ones, but you may not have those available to you. But hopefully you have a plate around the house that you can use. I would not use your mom's good china though. She might be upset with you. But anyway, so I've marked this, and now what I need to do is to take my scissors. Let me flip this around so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to cut out notches on each one of these triangles that I made. Okay, I'm going to turn this around better so I can see what I'm doing. Um, so I'm going to cut these notches out. I've numbered these notches. You need to have an uneven number in order for it to... For you to be able to tie um, the pattern and then I'll show you how to string this once I've got all my little notches cut out. See how the on the back how there's a little triangular notch. You don't actually have to do the triangle. Um, I've chosen to do that just ease, for, for the ease of showing you um, what this looks like. And again you can number this on the back. Um, in fact, why don't I go ahead and do that right now. I'm just going to make a little number right here on the back so I know where I'm starting at with my weaving and um, where I'm um, in order for it to, to actually string my loom. Again, this is a loom. It's a way of stretching the material in order to hold everything in place to make the weaving. Some of you have maybe have seen some different weavings. Maybe you have some woven chairs or um, some wicker furniture. That's all woven. A basket is woven. If you notice up behind me, I've got several baskets on the top of my uh, cabinets. Um, but weaving's been around for centuries uh, as a method of... Um, um, a functional method of carrying things, holding things, storing things. Uh, but I bet you have all kinds of weavings around your house. This one's made more for a decorative purpose. Uh, like the God's Eye, that was a decorative purchase or pur pur purpose, excuse me, not purchase, purpose um, in art. Art can be functional as well as decorative, just for the fun of doing it. Um, just like a blanket is woven, um, most of your clothing, the shirt I have on was obviously manufacturally ma made. Life is good, Mount Vernon. Um, but that's an art form as well. There's many things you don't think of as an art form, but they are. Just like the cabinets behind me. Craftsman made those. I so happen to be the craftsman. Um, I just kind of repurposed them. Um, but anyways, you're an artist, so let's do some art. <laughs> 